What's up, jammers? This week, we're gonna do a DIY on how to do a U-Pole Raptor spray-in bed liner. Stay tuned. We're getting ready to do a spray-in bed liner. What? Raptor. It's gonna be awesome. We're excited about that because it's definitely a skill we wanna have and yeah. this is what we'll probably use at other places, right, right? Uh, yeah. So we're gonna knock this thing out. And or then, it's gonna knock us out. Yeah, and then tomorrow uh, afternoon, we're gonna work on spraying this. So uh, we'll show you some clips along the way. And I'd say it's gonna be fun, but I really don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just be honest. <laughs> So Ryan, uh, what yeah. tips for sanding? What are, we yeah, so what, are step, we what are we going for here, man? Step one of doing the ped liner application on your vehicle is um, calling someone else. Now the truth is, is you gotta get the clear coat off, you gotta get it roughed up, so that way the spray bed liner um, adheres to the bed. It won't adhere to a smooth surface, so what we're doing is basically just creating a surface for it to get to. Uh, just knocking that clear off. So once we get the clear off, we'll wipe it all down, get the dust off. We'll uh, check it, make sure all the spots are good, hit all the bare metal spots with adhesion promoter, uh, and then we'll uh, spray it. So. Yeah, it's pretty cool. That, I mean, you can definitely see the difference between, yeah, especially on the back, you can see the parts that are done and the parts that are not done. So everything needs to be look looking kind of like that white area. Yeah, just that rough, tough look. Yeah. Sanding, sanding, sanding. Uh, we, we've done a little work off camera, done a little taping, trying to see if we could tape, and uh, so we kind of know right where our edges are, and then sand up to those edges, yep. and then uh, the idea would be clean it all up, triple check things, and then we're ready to spray some Raptor liner. We're pretty close. I'd say another 20, 30 minutes, and we'll be pulling it out. Yeah. Prepping it for paint. Cool. Let's get to it, right? Let's do it. amazing. I'm not a huge uh, fan of this trigger. The plastic piece keeps on sliding sideways. So it messes, messes up the little... alignment. Yeah, so that's probably my only complaint. Jason, now that it's all done, what do you 
thoughts. That's amazing stuff. Pretty awesome. Pretty easy too. I mean, yeah. I'm... The hardest part is always prep. Gosh, I hate that. Yeah. Kind of wish you could get somebody else to do that part, but no. I mean, I mean I... even the prep that we did, which we're not pros or anything, but I would say uh... it's pretty incredible. And I think it'll dry really even. Yeah, no, it's gonna look great. I think there's still a little bit of streaking, but I think it'll, I think it's gonna even out as it dries. It's not as obvious as you think it is. Well, and I've seen some stuff on YouTube where um, some other guys that have done the stuff and it had some streaking, but then after dried, it's blended it so great. I think that's one of the benefits of this product. So. We've learned a lot of things. What's all over my hands, Jason? That stuff's never coming off. Ever. <laughs> I might as well ride online the whole thing now. <laughs> Just right on your hands. Actually, it's called Raptor. Raptor line. Yeah, Raptor Sorry. line. Sorry. Alright, let's call it night, right? Yeah, that's it. And we'll see you next time.